Hi, this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs, and today I want to show you how you can resize uh, your Simply Crafty, Crafty SVGs designs with multiple SVG files within Cricut Design Space by a percentage. So this is specific to resizing designs that have multiple SVG files, but these same steps can be used for any other single SVG file or Cricut image. So um, I do have another video that explains just how to drag uh, multiple files or to drag to resize. Um, so you can go ahead and click the look at the video notes below or I will have a link in the upper right hand corner of this video uh, to that one. But this way is specific like for example um, in our first example we're going to size this. This is our the file that we're actually using it is the medium stemless wine glass box design. And we're going to size it up to 113%. And the reason we're doing this is um, that particular box has to be sized up a little bit to fit a popular insulated uh, wine, uh, stemless wine glass. So this is how you would do it in Cricut Design Space. So if you'll notice, I've already attached the score lines, which you can see in the right hand side. If you don't know how to do that, there's also a separate video for that as well. And that's the only way uh, a box will score properly. So um, I already attached them. So to resize them, there's a couple steps when you're using percentages. So this one does require a calculator. Um, unfortunately, Cricut does not have an option to resize by percentage built into their software. Some other software, um, die cutting software does. So we first have to select them all. So you can highlight them all this like this and uh, we'll go ahead and highlight them all and then you'll go to the top here and note the width. You can use width or height, we're going to use the width. So it's 14.64. You can note that on a piece of paper and then you can go to a calculator. I have one open so I'm just going to switch to it so I can still see it. We're going to go 14.64 plus 130 percent. Now all calculators should do this. You don't have to put equals or anything. It's 16.54. So I'd just go with at least two digits after the decimal point. So 16.54 and you can write that down or I could copy and paste, try to copy and paste it, but I'm going to type it manually. Before you change it, we're going to go back up to this width and before you change it, make sure that that lock is closed. If it's not, if it's open like this, it's not going to size right. So close that up if it's open and it's 16.54, I have to go back. 16.54, you type in the width. I hit tab and the whole thing changes, um, sized everything proportionally. So if you want to make sure we can go and let's go move to front and you can see these panels fit just fine. And because I already know like how wide they're supposed to be when they expand, I know this, this particular piece is uh, 8.36, but that's it. It does require a little bit of uh, calculation with the calculator, but it's not that difficult. And so example, I don't have the original file, the original size now, but I could highlight it now. And let's say I just wanted 50%. Now easy 50% is usually half so I could just go 10 if I really wanted to. So you could eyeball the number or you could use a calculator. But let, I'll just do 10 because I know that's 50% ish of that. And now it's 50%. And um, what's fun about this is that you could take a box that was intended for a, a wine glass, a stemless wine glass and make it a gift box now. So it's pretty simple. Um, I wish they incorporated it into the software um, and hopefully it'll be a future addition. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, I hope to do a little bit more of these type of videos here and there. If you do, um, please like this video and or subscribe to our channel. I would truly appreciate that and I thank you so much for watching.